What is up YouTube? It is your boy KCS back with another Black Ops 4 gameplay. And today, I'm talking about today. This one is extreme. Now, you already know the score, so I know you're ready to see the gameplay, but you got to watch me switch my Spitfire class around because this is the birth of the gameplay right here. So let me tell you this. I had seen this guy using lightweight uh, dexterity and gung-ho on one of the default classes and he was shredding people so that's what I decided to use uh, on the Spitfire for a while which caused me to lose fast max. So recently as you can see I decided to change to the fast max again and this is exactly what happened. So I hope you enjoy the video. I actually. Just give it a thumbs up now because I know you're going to enjoy the video. If you're a Call of Duty fan, and even if you're not a Call of Duty fan, you're going to see exactly how many kills I get. You're going to see how many deaths, how many bodies, how many kill streaks, how many whatever, man. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So are you ready? Because I'm absolutely ready. Let's go. So this first round I start off a little bit slow and by the way guys usually with these type of videos I would have look at this guy sitting in the corner get out of the corner Billy usually with these type of videos I would have just let you just watch the gameplay but this time I wanted to sit through it with you guys and actually you know experience it with you guys because I hadn't actually sat down and watched the gameplay myself so this is good for you and for me this guy not even paying attention oh yeah and I was paying attention to everything guys I was staring at my map the entire game and I was also paying attention to the kill feed as well you have to look at everything and one thing that's funny about me is I play on a big TV so imagine if I was on a monitor when I get my monitor set up it's gonna be absolutely over can't wait for the new Call of Duty. Can't wait for Black Ops 5. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys are waiting on as well. Absolutely just shredding him. If I had a healed there, I would have actually been able to kill him and keep going, but oh well. Just jumping all over the place. You see my movement? It's ridiculous. You got me there. That's a kill. Yeah, I tried to do some like Batman. <laughs> I tried to really get him right there. Ironically burned by fire as the fire break. Oh yeah. See this first round, I don't know. I was just, I guess I was warming up. The thing about Nuketown, guys, and I know Black Ops 4 people, any Call of Duty fan for that matter can contest to this. You have to warm up to Nuketown. It doesn't matter if you've been playing for I don't know how long. You have to warm up to the map Nuketown because the spawns are very, very sticky, especially with the game mode Safeguard. So you really have to be on it. And uh, so this first round, I was kind of making some mistakes here and there. But once I realized the potential of this gameplay, then I was like, okay, let me focus a little bit more. It's not that I wasn't focusing as much in the beginning, but then I started to really hone in and tap within, you know? Beautifying. Like right here. I had no idea where I was. I was just running around in circles, man. I love that. Oh my god. Look 
look at you, Billy. And I was on a merciless right there. I wasn't even paying attention because I was just trying to go off. <clears throat> See, the thing about me is sometimes I'll get in the groove and I just want to get, like, play the game, you know, because I know that that's a potential. Especially in Safeguard, you have multiple chances to get play of the game, so my thing is always trying to secure that, you know. I like to be seen for those around play of the games. Alright y'all, so five minutes in, or well, six minutes in, and my score is not too, too bad, but like I said, the second round is when I really start to pick it up. And Call of Duty is terrible, don't know why that's been happening since the beginning, fix your game. So I was 32 and 10 at this point. And so then I was like, all right, man, it's time to pick it up a bit. Zero. Neutralized. Just playing really smart, really strategic. That's the guy that had the fire. Didn't even worry about Juno. Just killing them all. That I was about to run out of bullets, and this is why I said I should have used crashed. <laughs> crashed. I should have used crash because I would have been able to use the ammo packs, obviously. But, uh, you know, I wanted to use fire break, and it turned out well for me. And the reason I say that is you'll see in this next clip what I do when I pick up somebody else's weapon. <laughs> Merciless at that point. Ruthless. <laughs> and then I freaking died. See, if I'd have been paying attention to my medals, guys, I probably would have went for the nuclear. But I was just so amazed at how many kills I was getting in a row and how I I knew my number of uh, kills was going to be very very high. Watch them scatter like roaches right here. On fire. <laughs> and so, I have the software to record the face cam as well as the PS4 camera, so I'm definitely going to be implementing that in my videos. So definitely look forward to that. Um, but I definitely like being with you guys throughout the video instead of just you know you watching it alone it's boring you know this adds a little bit of spice to it I guess you can say it's more entertaining so I'll definitely be doing this every video that I drop now um, and I'm also going to try to start recording um, the audio while I'm in game so that I don't have to go back and and then record a commentary that way um, because it'll be better live I'll just have to talk because usually I don't say anything when I'm playing especially as well as this I just sit there in silence because I have to focus like that I'm just absolutely evading everything that they have to offer like your bullets are not going to kill me I'm sorry buddy they're, they're confused. They don't even know where the hell I'm at. Are you guys watching this? <laughs> and so again, running out of ammo, and then I try to pick up one, and that's the reason I die. Horrible. That's alright. I was still doing very well. Two things that would have been absolutely beneficial, the crash health and then the freaking ammo as well. So I'm coming up on the second round now, and I think I'll show you guys how many kills I have right now. So 72 and 22.
second round. I'm only going to show you guys the first three rounds. Uh, the fourth round, I mean, it's just not, it's pointless. It's, I only get a few more kills, so. Seventy-two and twenty-two. Establish UAV above. Their robot has been disabled. And so at this point I'm just going strictly for kills because I want to see how many I can get. I know that I'm gonna get a hundred, of course. And then I do this. The hostile robot is on the move. <laughs> going hot. So you see me, I'm just going wild. I probably should have just chilled out, but I was just absolutely just I wanted to kill them all, you know. I was doing very well though. And I could have just chilled right there, but he got me. He he read my movements. So this was a very, very good gameplay. I mean this came out of nowhere. I've been playing for I don't know how long. And then I run up on Nuketown, I get warmed up, I change my class a little bit, and then here you have it. Um I could have used a different specialist, but you know, that's fine. Usually I always use crash because I'm usually usually using the reaver. Um, I have a couple of Reaver gameplays up on my channel actually, so definitely go ahead and check that out. And the Reaver is something that I had in Black Ops 3. It was called the NX Shadow Claw back then. And I loved it. And you can actually run it dual wield in that game, which is amazing. A big thing that attracted me to Black Ops 3 was the movement system. In any game period, I love when you're able to move all around and it that's with any character, even in Overwatch, for example. Like I use Junkrat mainly because of his mobility and his damage. He's able to hop from building to building without being seen and still being able to deal a lot of damage with this game when I was using the lightweight that was me trying to replicate that aspect of Black Ops 3 and there is no replication of that that's why I switched back to the fast mags and I was able to do this but Black Ops 3 is a good game Black Ops 4 was a is, is still a great game um, I'm still having fun playing it. I'm still but it's starting to get old honestly what are you guys playing leave it in the comment section below just so I can get some ideas Make sure you add me KCS only, um, so that we can play some games together. Uh, I'd definitely be down. I love that to interact with my subscribers, get some parties going, get some, you know, definitely get some gameplay going and, and interact with you guys. But I want to play some new games, and Call of Duty is getting old now. And the reason I say it's getting old is because it's not what it used to be. Modern Warfare 2 and 3, I could play all day, every day, non-stop. All day, all night, whatever. It didn't matter. Like Modern Warfare 2, that's all I did. I didn't play any other game. But these games, I have to switch it up. Call of Duty is just not what it used to be. And I'm sorry, but they need to figure it out. <laughs> you know? I mean, this we play this because this is the only thing that we have. But in my opinion, it is not what it used to be, and it will never be what it used to be. That's why they need to kind of revert back to that foundational, like, groundbreaking game that they made back then. But we are approaching the end of this video, guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really enjoy watching this with you guys. I really enjoy being with you guys this entire time. And expect a face cam. That's going to really be interesting for me because I've never done anything like that. Uh, so expect the face cam, um, just expect a lot of different things when it comes to the channel, I love doing this, so this is something that I'm really passionate about and I'm going to, I am a YouTuber and I'm only going to become a better YouTuber and reach millions, if not billions. I'm trying to speak to the world and you know what, it's going to happen. And it's going to happen through gameplays like this 
and everything else under the sun. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. Take care. Have a great day. Can you deal with that? The robot is under fire. Move to the Good. Kill. But the robot is clearing the path.